What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So today, I'm back at it again on my handy daddy notebook. I'm gonna give y'all the real tea about graduate school. I'm gonna give y'all the real tea about graduate school. These are going to be the six things, because I couldn't condense it to five, that they don't tell you about graduate school. And this is really just my first year reflection type of thing. Number one, ain't no renting, no textbooks. I think I took advantage of this as an undergrad. You know, you rent the textbooks, you send them back, um, or you have other people buy them from you. You know, book exchange and all this other stuff. And... Some, I don't know if some grad students are going to disagree with this, but in my program, it's not a smart thing to do. Um, so the reason why I say that ain't no renting no books, you should buy your books, um, whether that be electronically or a, a, like a hardback book. So in my program, after your third year, you take your qualifying exam and your qualifying exam is what like precedes you on to kind of become like a PhD candidate, but it's basically a test that says you have uh, mastered all of the coursework that you've taken since your first year. I'm gonna say this again, this is after your third year. So it's the qualifying exam tests you over all theoretical frameworks that you've learned over three years. It tests you on research methods and it tests you on your specialization. So your specialization courses are the courses that you take that are like directly related to your um, research interests. So for me, I wanna study black couples and black marriages. All of my specialization, specialization courses are going to consist of st stuff around that topic. Um, so with that being said, how are you going to refer to what you learned from your first year if you constantly send it back textbooks? You And the qualifying exam is not a multiple choice. This is like sh not short responses. I don't even know how long they got to be, but it's, it's, it's long. You take this exam home, you make it a week to complete it, but you have to write essays on essays on essays responding to this. So you need to cite stuff. You need to like... Uh, and depending on your program um they may want you to cite more of your not coursework but the articles that they re required you to read in class the textbooks that they require you to read in class um because to them that means that you mastered what they've taught with this being said it's a good idea to make sure you have a system in place to organize all of your notes all of your textbooks all of your files for all year so that you can easily access those things um, when you need them. Number two is free time really ain't free. And I remember thinking like, hmm, I only have a three or four classes and it's really, I, want, I only have one class a day. I have so much time to do so much stuff. No, though the, the time that you're not in class, you're gonna be doing um, your assistantship whether that's a TA, whether that's an RA, um, whether you have a job on campus as your assistantship, you have to focus on your research, um, whether that be reading articles, um, recruiting participants, doing studies, whatever it is. Um, and then in my case, I also manage a lab. And if you're in, you're gonna be like in graduate school, you're most likely going to be involved in a research lab. So it's not enough time in a day. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not enough time. I know like in my like older videos, I was like, oh yeah, you know, I only work till five or till six and then I come home because I want, that was real cute. That was real cute. That's all I'm gonna say. I've worked 14 hours straight, like, that was real cute my first semester, first couple of months, but it's not the case. So, free time is never free. Number three is make friends outside of your department. Please 
I beg of you, make friends outside of your department. When you get stressed out or people are uh, annoying you, um, you're going to want to vent to other people who are in, you know, similar situations or that just don't know these people. Also, um, it can be really like, uh, discouraging because everybody in the department is going to be stressed the professors are going to be stressed because they're expected to do this all of the grad students are going to be stressed because we all got this stuff going on so it's also very refreshing to talk to other people in other departments that are also stressed but over different things so you feel like it's normal you don't feel like it's a departmental thing um so i would definitely suggest making friends outside of your department Number four is it doesn't get easier. You only adjust. People say that your first year of graduate school is always your hardest. And yes, like I'm finishing up my first year. Um, so maybe this answer will change my next couple of years. But I don't think it gets easier. I just think you learn to adjust. You learn to balance. You learn um, how to also fit self-care into your regimen. Um, you're more mature. So you know how to listen to your body. Uh, that's really all that I think that it really is because honestly your responsibilities get more difficult because um, at least your advisor should be preparing you for the workforce and for professional life so the responsibility should get more difficult as time goes on but also you are also maturing as this is happening so number five imposter syndrome is real and I think this is something that they do tell you about graduate school but they don't tell you how it really feels like i've had my own thing when i had imposter syndrome for a while and i didn't know that it was imposter syndrome so somebody else told me that this is imposter syndrome um so it may be different for everybody um but it is very real it does take a really big toll on your mental health um how well you do um it can really have some like detrimental effects on your performance in graduate school. If you want me to do a separate video on imposter syndrome, because I feel like imposter syndrome happens in graduate school and new jobs and new places. It doesn't matter. It happens. I can do a whole separate video on imposter syndrome. Um, also, just like with the whole like department thing, everybody is um, super stressed out. And so um, you're usually in your office with other graduate students and everyone is stressed out and people are always working on things but you don't really see people completing things and it's no shade or anything it's like research takes time it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of effort but it's like always this elephant in the room like oh you've been working on this project for this long you know how far are you um so like <laughs> this is all it's just also crazy but um that can be discouraging to be around people that are always working on stuff while you're always working on stuff and you don't see a lot of completion and it's always reflect it's always refreshing when someone in the office is like i'm about to defend my proposal i'm about to defend my dissertation i have my master's defense like because everybody is always working and working and working and working that is it's just like always so amazing when there's like i finally get to put a stamp on this and this is the end or this is the beginning to a new project last but not least i could not i could not leave this out something that they really don't tell you about graduate school not in your interviews i don't even think my not any of my mentors told me this your advisor can make or break your experience your opportunities after your advisor has a lot a lot of i'm not going to say control but influence on how well you do and your opportunities to come next i think that deserves a video on its own so if you guys you guys want to see that too if y'all want to see like the real about advisors comment down below and please let me know i would do that for y'all as well um but yes those are my six things that they don't tell you about graduate school before you come but yes that is all the graduate school tea that i have for today thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to like